All right, so we're unlocking some stuff. That's cool. Ooh, now it splits. Yeah. This looks like it might be a real opponent now, which is fine. Oh, I don't know what mod I equip. Free, whatever. Oh, I didn't know I could. Oh well. I thought those were just for the custom characters. Uh, League of Villains? Take a wild guess. They're the bad guys. Uh, the Nomu are genetically altered. Uh, I want to say they're non-quirked individuals. I'd have to go back and watch the series to be sure. Oh, that was literally just a cinematic. Okay. Oh, so I gotta do this one. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go back to normal. Uh, so, of course, the whole thing doesn't focus just around Midoriya. He has friends, too. Uh, I'm trying to remember who this guy's name is. For having watched so much of the show, it's... Uh, escapes me a little bit. Fuku,ホスシの uh, Hero Killer Stain, uh, he is able to paralyze people by drinking even just a drop of their blood. Some of the quirks are kind of weird, but cool. The game looks gorgeous, I can't deny that. Ah, uh, Ida, yes. Oh man. Ooh, you little long distance bugger. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's bad. Do throw. Let's see what his throw is. I'm starting to get wise to my little roundhouse move. Uh, it's not as clunky as I thought it would be, actually. Uh, again, like any 3D one, it's a little disorienting. a little hard to keep your focus, but control-wise, it's pretty fast and it's pretty smooth. 
Uh, so Ida, for example, when I talk about weird quirks, I mean, you saw Gran Torino with jets in his feet. Ida has these engines in his leg that basically make his kicks and his running speed incredibly fast. story short, Stain almost killed Ida's brother. Um, Stain is kind of a weird... He's almost an anti-hero. He just believes that people with powers shouldn't be being heroes or villains. Uh, it's a very odd character. He thinks the whole theatrics of it and that the... Um, and everything just isn't or sorry, no, he doesn't feel that heroes are true heroes now. Uh, because in the My Hero universe, everything is commercialized. So heroes who go to work for other super power organizations, they get paid. Um, they're just like anybody else. They, they're paid, they're legally authorized to either work with the police or not work with the police. Um, it's a very intriguing... It's a very cool world that they built for My Hero. Um, and I find it's very indicative of the difference between Japanese culture and American culture. For us, it makes sense that heroes would be renegades and go off on their own. For my hero, um, that's not how their world works. It just, in their mind, in this world, it just makes sense. Well, of course, you're going to have to be licensed. You're going to have to be authorized to fight crime. That's just how it is. Um, very cool, in my, uh, my opinion. Oh, Gran Torino. Okay, we'll come back to Gran Torino. I'm going to keep going with Midoriya's story. Uh, just because that's what I feel like doing. So far, this is fun. I'm liking it just because I get to talk about My Hero Academia. Um, so yeah, anyway, Stain almost kills Ida's brother. Ida, you know, foolishly goes off for revenge. Uh, fortunately, Midori is there to save Ida's life before Stain can finish the job with him. To be fair, Ida does put some pretty good fight. I think the thing I like about Stain the most is he very much, he's not just using his powers, because uh, he, he has to have skill outside of those powers. Come here where I can get you. Uh, so yeah, beca all my strength, you might notice Midoriya like holds his arm, he can't, like his fingers are bruised. His body can't handle all my powers. Um, so, for him to do even just a little bit of strength, he can break his own bones using it. Uh, it's kind of a cool notion. Amazing. New, New story indeed.
So yeah, the uh, the clutch moment of this fight is when Stain manages to get just a shot of Midori's blood. Ooh, and then enter Todoroki, um, who's kind of Midori, one of Midori's rivals throughout the entire series. Uh, Todoroki, also notoriously powerful, he's the son of uh, the number two hero to All Might's number one, uh, and he has both the power of half half hot, hot cold, half cold. Half hot, half cold is what they call him. Uh, basically, he has both ice and fire powers, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, for let's keep going with this one until we get through number eight. Uh, just because I want to play as Todoroki. That's the that's the main thing. Todoroki is the one. If you talk to a lot of the anime girls, they're like, "Oh my god, it's Todoroki." Um, you'll find him on a lot of the body pillows and stuff. Not my thing. I'm just saying. That's the... He's that character. In the anime. Uh, and of course, similar to how Midori had to rescue Ida, Todoroki has to come in and rescue Midori. Todoroki is a very cool and complex character. I have to say. I, I, uh, well put together. In terms of story arc. Oh, I actually have to uh, protect them. Get over here. Ooh. You jerk face. Oh. Dope. Oh, I've got a sword in my head. What the hell? Get over here. I will throw you. Todoroki is very weird to fight with. Very, very strange. Not bad, just weird. Hard to describe, really. Not as much of a long-range character as I thought he'd be, I guess. This is a very intense moment in the anime. I don't mean to downplay it all. I just, uh... It's more fun to watch it than it is to read it on separate screens like this. EX plus ultras are special attacks performed with both sidekicks at cost level... Three levels of the plus ultra gauge to execute. Consult each character's move list for details on how to trigger them. Hmm. Let's find out how to do that. Shall we? My show, then you probably love geek news. In which case, you should check out the Is That All podcast featuring Kevin and Corey, and sometimes even yours truly. You can find them on podcast.com under Is That All. Do you love anime but aren't sure where to get that sweet, sweet anime and cosplay merchandise? Well, look no further than the Litter Box. Check out the Litter Box at facebook.com slash the Litter Box 68. The Litter Box, because you never know what you're going to find.
If you live in Belleville or the surrounding area and are looking to fulfill your comic book needs, then check out Need a Hero Comics at 200 North Front Street, Belleville. You can also visit them at www.needaherocomics.com. All right, everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, of course, check out more videos. Also, more console capers, especially My Hero One's Justice.